Hi everyone, this is a uh, bit of an unexpected video. I published this puzzle today um, called Nearly There. It's a classic Sudoku. And um, I had heard from testing that it might be a little tricky, but I wasn't expecting to get so many comments from people um, struggling with it. It kind of caught me off guard. Um, so I, I wanted to go through the intended solve path of this. And it occurred to me that I might just be taking for granted some of the techniques that I use. Uh, I've been in the Sudoku community for a few years now. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe you aren't familiar with uh, the, the techniques that are used in this puzzle. So um, what you're going to need, ideally, is a, a few hundred translucent chips if you want to do this the correct way. Um, this, this is a technique that was um, developed for solving on paper, a physical paper. You might want a very big uh, sheet of paper with your grid on it. Um, the idea is going to be to, to write some candidates like, like we do uh, in Sudoku Pad here um, we have these pencil marks in the center of the grid um, you're going to want to do something like that on paper um, and then we're going to use these chips uh, as sort of a coloring technique um, you're going to want uh, a few different colors i think the original proposal for this uh, used four different colors um, we're going to try and get away with two though and I can't really show the, the physical application on video very well. Um, so what I'm gonna do instead is try and approximate it. And so I'm gonna switch over here. Uh, this is, this is GIMP. This is a, um, this is an editing tool. And this is actually a screenshot of a different puzzle. Um, the screenshot is taken from Sudoku Wiki. Uh, you may be familiar with Sudoku Wiki. Um, it has a solver here. Um, this is by Andrew Stewart. And for a long time, this was kind of the state of the art on the web, at least, for solving Sudoku and providing an explanation for how to get through a puzzle. I, I brought up an example of uh, one of my puzzles. Um, I don't know if any of you recognize this one. Uh, this is not gas. Um, I would not recommend trying to solve this if um, you're new to Sudoku. Um, try, some, try some easier puzzles first. And uh, the reason that this is not gassed, typically we have a uh, sort of a rubric for establishing which puzzles are gas, and the requirement is that you're able to apply this technique at least twice at the start of the puzzle just to get you going. Um, you may need some other techniques after that, but as long as you can do it twice, probably good. Um, this one, uh, you can actually only do it once. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. The, the technique, uh, hopefully you can tell, it's the very first technique on Sudoku Wiki. It's called Bowman's Bingo. Um, and this is the most basic Sudoku technique. Um, it, it's something that you are probably already doing just naturally. And um, I find having having this reference for it um understanding why it works logically i think it really helps um make you more comfortable with it uh make you faster with it um this might be a bit of a lengthy video because i'm going to break down each step individually but um you know you get familiar with this and you can move those chips around very quickly so what we're going to do um, I have this set up um, with two colors, blue and red, and we are going to start uh, putting a, a blue chip um, in, uh, um, that, that's not the right color, what happened there? Um, oh, I'm on the eraser, sorry. Um, 
We're going to start by putting a blue chip on the 6. That's my, my best approximation of a blue chip. And th this is kind of the, uh, the starting place for this technique. We're looking at the 6, and since we put a blue chip on the 6, um, what that lets us do is we're going to be able to put a red chip anywhere that that blue chip sees. So we can put a red chip on all of these sixes uh, in the column and in the row here. And then uh, there's another one here and here. Um, we can't forget about the box, so let's get that. Uh, hopefully I didn't get too close to the nine there. Uh, we'll just remember that. Uh, we can also color these other candidates in the same cell. Um, we're placing red chips on those. Okay, well, what did that do for us? Well, you might notice that um, in this cell, we only have one uh, candidate left that doesn't have a chip on it. So um, the next rule for Bowman's Bingo is, well, if there's only one choice left, we can color it blue. Um, we'll put a blue chip on that. And, and now we're gonna go through the same process. We can um, put red chips on our ones here and here and uh, here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Um, hopefully, I didn't miss any. Um, so now the, the next step is to again look for a place where we only have one candidate that doesn't have a chip on it already. Um, and the one I see here is this three. So let's put a blue chip there. And now we're going to follow the same pattern we're going to place some red chips on the threes here and maybe this one here uh these up here those those have red chips um hopefully that's all of them um if you miss one it's not a big deal um you'll you'll probably spot it later on uh but now this this cell uh we can put a blue chip on the two there and red chips on any remaining twos. And you can see I've already got a red chip on this too. So as, as we do this, it's gonna get a little bit easier to manage. Um, you can see we've used quite a few chips, but um, if you have a few hundred, you'll probably be okay. Uh, let's not forget about the box. We need some red chips on those twos. And I think that's all we can do for the two. Um, how about this cell right here? Put a blue chip on that seven, and that's going to give us some red chips on seven. And oh, down here, yeah, yeah. Um, I should actually mention I did I did apply something here um, before I started, just because I'm familiar with this puzzle. Um, I did find a hidden pair here. Um, if you if you just put this puzzle into F puzzles, um, you won't find that sh straight away. Um, but it's there, so you don't need it to uh, to uh, apply Bowman's Bingo. But just fun little tidbit there. Um, so this is a red chip as well, and I think that got all the sevens. Um, now we can put one on that nine um, since we have our our pair. That's going to make that a red chip. Let's put one here. Uh, are we missing any other nines? I don't think we are, so let's uh, keep going here with a blue chip on this seven. And that's going to put a red chip here. And I think we've already got all of our red chips on those cells. Uh, so where do we need to look next? There should be some place where we can continue this. Uh, I mean, sometimes you will get stuck, and that's okay. You just um, go back and you try another um, starting place, because um, you might not pick the, the right starting place the first time. But here we've got an 8 um, that can get a blue chip, and so we're going to Follow our red chips on eight. Uh, get some eights there, maybe one there. Here's one, here's one, here's one, and here's one. And now I've already seen uh, we get a blue chip on five right here. So let's get all of these. 
that one and maybe that one. And hopefully that's all of the uh, red chips that we need there. Um, let's see, we've got a six. Yeah, we can do that. So that gets a blue chip. I don't see any sixes except for up here. So we'll go ahead and color those. Give them red chips. Um, what else? We've got this cell right here. We've got red chips on six and eight, so we can put a blue chip on this one. And that's going to give us some more red chips. Um, here, here, and here. And it's been a long day. My hand's cramping up a little bit, um, so bear with me. It may take a little bit longer than this would normally take, but I do want to make sure that you understand everything I'm doing. Um, we don't have any confusion there. Um, I think we got all the ones. So now this cell can get a, a blue chip on a four. That's pretty important. So let's get some red chips here and here. And over here. And maybe right here and here. Oh, I've got the five again. That's okay. Um, if you're using physical chips, you wouldn't have these problems um, overlapping. Um, that just, uh, it doesn't matter. The five was already colored red, so we don't really have to worry about it anymore. Um, so that four we got, uh, that's going to give us a three right here. So let's color that three blue, and then we're going to get red chips on these. Um, and in case it's not clear, the the reason this is called Bowman's Bingo, it's like filling out a bingo card. Um, your your number three got called here. Um, I I I don't really play bingo. I don't know what um, sort of call you would make for number three. I know they sometimes have some whimsical uh, phrases that they associate with each number, but I don't know what those are. So. Um, we're placing chips on our card and we're, we're trying to make a bingo basically. Um, so here we're going to put a blue chip on the six and uh, it's going to give us red chips. And I believe that's all of those. Um, where else can we look? Oh, I see a um, eight right here can get a blue chip. That's going to give a red chip in the, these eights in the same row. And the reason it's the, the blue chip and the red chips are in the same row or in the same box or the column is because of normal Sudoku rules. So if you had different Sudoku rules or different puzzle rules in general, um, you would place your chips differently. Um, maybe it would be called um, something different. Maybe they would be poker chips in that case. I don't know. Um, but here we can get another blue chip on one. It's going to give us, oh, that's close to the two. Hopefully I, I don't get confused there. Um, but that's going to get red chips on all of these ones. And this one down here. This one up here. Uh, where do we want to go next? Uh, let's see. Uh, how about this four right here? I think it's a blue chip, so we're going to get some more red chips. Maybe I should be calling these pink chips, really. And I guess, in some sense, those are the same thing. Just different tints and shades. My kids have been learning about color theory, so you know, that's been on my mind. Um, it's going to give us a blue chip on this one. That's... That might be important, so let's put that, um, all these red chips on ones in the box. What about here and here and down here? Okay. Where else can we look? And you can see how flexible this is. I mean... But lots of options for where I can put my next blue chip. Um, but the important thing is to place one blue chip and then um, make sure you get all of your red chips down um, so you're not overlooking anything. 
Um, let's, uh, about this three right here. That looks like a promising one. Um, these, yeah, and let's not forget that one. Let's go up the column here. Oh, okay. Okay, so finally, um, I say finally, I mean, that really wasn't that bad. Um, maybe a hundred chips, just as an estimate. It's not a big deal. Um, like I said, as you practice with this, um, if you're not already using it um, in this way, the physical chips really help. I mean, you can you can throw down a hundred chips very quickly, um, like the speed solvers do. But you'll notice we don't have um, any more candidates that aren't covered by chips here. And so I'm just gonna highlight that cell. That is it's going to be very red there. We've, we've kind of got a uh, sort of a, a bingo there. Uh, in this case, it, it's a row, um, but more generally, it's kind of like a, a blackout, or in this case, a, a pink out. Um, and okay, so we've we've found our bingo. So what does that mean? Well, if we found a bingo, all it means is that that blue chip that we placed all the way at the start there on that six, well, that should have been a red chip. And so, in fact, we can eliminate that six um, from consideration. And now if, if this puzzle were solvable um, with Bowman's bingo, uh, and again, this is, this is a hard puzzle, um, so, don't expect to get any further uh, with this technique. Um, you need much more advanced techniques in this puzzle. But um, if if it were possible, we we would pick another uh, starting point. Maybe we would start with uh, this two right here and go from there. Um, okay, so that's how the technique works. Um, and let's see how we can apply it now to our actual puzzle here and um one one advantage of doing this in uh gimp using this screenshot is um andrew's sudoku solver already eliminated some candidates so I, I didn't have to worry about that i i can't really do that in sudoku pad unfortunately um so what i'm gonna have to do is type all of the candidates um like this and now uh, sudoku pad has a lot of useful tools um, we can, can draw circles x's we can draw lines um it's not really set up for bowman's bingo um at least it it doesn't tell you that it is um but Sven has actually been very clever here he's put in a uh, secret feature um and he called it conflict checker and check pencil marks i I don't know why he um, decided to call it that, but you'll notice that that has put red chips effectively on a lot of our digits. And so now for our our, our blue chips, um, I mean, there are other blue digits. We're not gonna think of those as blue chips. Um, we're actually just gonna use um, big digits. So we're gonna start with a, a blue one here. And now, Sven's Sudoku pad automatically, um, let's see if we have an example here. So this one right here, um, before we put the one there, it was blue, but now it's it's turned red automatically. So we, we didn't even have to, you know, think about that too hard. But now we're just gonna go through the same process. It's It's placing our red chips for us. I mean, you might consider that a little bit of a cheat, but, um, I mean, it's 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 kind of what we have to do, not being able to solve on paper and and use the physical chips. But now we're just going to look for uh, another cell that um, only has one non-red chip candidate. Uh, so I see a four here, so I'm going to place that four. And any fours that um, were in this row, 
and column and box they're they're covered by red chips now um i see a nine right here so that's good and we're just going to keep looking around um might be a little hard to see the, the text is a little bit small um where else can we look uh there's a two yeah we can get a blue two there and there's an eight uh there's a nine there and um there's some nine here as well uh that's a three six and two lots of blue chips now uh this is a one and that's a five and a one and a seven and you can see how much faster uh, this is. Um, I've been solving this way for a long time now. And even even while I'm explaining it, you can see how fast I'm typing digits. So, it, I mean, don't worry if it seems really slow to start with. Um, you do get a lot faster with more experience. Um, let's keep placing uh, digits uh, where we can put blue chips, so that's a three there, and how about a nine and an eight, and a seven and a nine, and we'll keep looking around. This is a five with a blue chip, an eight there, a two here, and a five, there's a six, a three, a seven, and an eight, a one, a nine, seven and a five uh, i can already see here we've we've hit our bingo I, i'm just going to keep placing some more just you know for fun um because depending on the order that you do things in you might end up with your bingo in different places so i just wanted to illustrate that we got bingo in two different cells um this one we couldn't end up placing a blue chip and that's okay um you can expand this technique um so that rather than just looking at the cells um, maybe we're looking at the column we still need to place a chip on a one um, that's the only place for it so maybe we could make that a one but we're doing the basic um, bowman's bingo here so that gave us a bingo so now again we're just going to undo everything we did and oh too far um, and so that means that is not a one um, and now we're just going to continue doing this. Um, you know, I'm I'm going to cut here for a minute. Um, I don't want this video to be too long for YouTube. We will release the full solve video, I think, um, maybe on Patreon. We'll see. Um, but I did want to illustrate, you know, what happens uh, if if you don't get a bingo. Um, so I'm going to start with six, just like we started with six in the other puzzle. And let's look for um, places where we can place blue chips. Um, we can put a nine here. Uh, we can put an eight and a nine. And hopefully I'm not going too fast. Um, you know, slow me down if, if the... Uh, if the deductions are, are too fast. Um, but just to reiterate, the cell, all of the digits have red chips except for that six. So it gets a blue chip. That two, that one, and that five, one, and seven, and a five here, three here, four, six, uh, four, and a one, and a four, and a five, nine, and that just comes really naturally second nature filling these in at this point um i mean i do have to keep looking down i'm so much more used to solving with physical chips than i am with the keyboard um but sometimes i forget where the uh numbers are but We'll keep at it and look up here at the seven and nine and a two, five, seven, eight, nine, four, one, seven, five, two, three. Uh, that gets a blue chip as well. Now, there is one flaw with um, Sudoku Pad here, and that is 
when I place the last blue chip here, I haven't gotten bingo. I've uh, unfortunately Sudoku Pad kind of spoiled this for me. Um, it's saying the solution is correct, but I haven't gotten a bingo. So if I haven't gotten bingo, um, I haven't succeeded with the technique. So I, I yeah, I, I get it. Sudoku Pad, you think I did it correctly, but. Um, what that tells us that we didn't get a bingo is that we can't deduce anything about that six. Um, all we can do is try another digit. So that's what we're going to do in the full video. I will release, um, I don't know, as, as soon as I can. Um, but we're going to start with a two here and hopefully eventually, you know, we will be able to um, use the technique to rule out the other digits and then we can place that six there and then start on the next cell um but hopefully that that video will be coming out soon and hopefully this was enough to get you started on the puzzle um this is really just a coloring technique i, I mean i know a lot of the puzzles that we do we will do things like uh, some sort of low high coloring that's pretty common I don't know why I got five there. We might make these, you know, uh, different colors. And uh, th that's a pretty standard thing to do. We might do odd even. Um, but this is just another type of coloring. It's just, um, it's more suited to physical solving. Um, I guess you could do the other coloring physically. Um, and, you know, you could, you could, do um different approximations i i did bring up um let me just bring up uh, my image editing here um if you're not comfortable with using this um conflict checker i mean that that sounds like it might be cheating so we don't we don't want to cheat um you know you can bring the puzzle up on on your screen um if you don't have the sort of imaging editing software you know you can get a there are highlighters that are screen safe you can get a couple of different colors of highlighter you can get four if you if you want to do it the the old-fashioned proper way um and just color on your screen and um solve that way and just wipe it off after you're done so i hope you found that helpful um let us know how you got on with this puzzle in the comments and if you want to see more extended um solves using bowman's bingo um maybe maybe if there's enough interest i might do a uh a video on some more advanced techniques uh I know there's been a lot of interest in triple Bowman's Bingo lately. Um, there are some puzzles that only triple Bowman's Bingo can crack. And um, so that might be interesting to some of you. But yeah, let me know um, if that's worth doing. I can look into that. It might take me a, a, you know, a few months to, to record that. But, um, you know, I want to further, further the Sudoku knowledge. So I, I will see you next time. I hope that helped. Um, Clover should be back tomorrow with um, her solve of this. I mean, I expect it to be very similar to what I just um, showed you. Um, but she's much faster than I am. She will, she will solve it much faster. So uh, until next time, um, thanks for watching.